Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And today we're gonna talk about the secure folder that's on your Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, what exactly is the secure folder? Now, essentially what it's for originally is it's a way you'd be able to separate your work from your personal life. So in this way, anything that's on your personal side of the phone is gonna be separate of what is particularly made for work, such as images, gallery, files, and applications. The other way to look at secure folder is almost kind of having two different phones built into one, but with the exact same phone number. So I'm gonna give you all these different examples and details once we go inside of this in-depth tutorial of the secure folder for your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, before we go in and we dive deep, I do wanna let you guys know that there is a link inside the description below the video letting you guys know about a contest that I'm running for the full year of 2018. So make sure you guys click on that link so you guys can get more details of trying to win five different prizes. Now, if you do not see the secure folder icon on your home screen or even inside of your application tray, what you do wanna do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and then below there, you're gonna see where it says the lock screen and security. Underneath lock screen and security, you're gonna just scroll on down until you see the option for secure folder. Now, because I'm going into the secure folder this way through the settings, once I put in my credentials, it will go to the settings of secure folder. Then right after that, I'll show you exactly what the application does. So once I typed in my credentials, I do have it as a pin as well as fingerprint. Um, the next option you have is gonna be the auto lock of secure folder. So the moment that you get out of your secure folder, it will be able to lock immediately. Then you have to re-put back in your credentials, maybe a pin, your iris or fingerprint just to get right back in, or you can make it kind of delayed after five minutes, 10 minutes or 30 minutes, then it will actually lock your secure folder. Underneath that one will be the notifications and data. So for the notifications, uh, I do have it showing my content when I'm actually using the phone. So for example, um, with inside of my secure folder, I added something in my calendar that only shows on my secure folder calendar, not the personal calendar, but I'm still able to see it just because that's how I have my settings. This little icon right here, the little black little triangle to the side means that this is something that's within your secure folder. And then I do have it set up to hide the content on the lock screen. Then what you do have right below here is app notifications. So what app notifications do you want to happen through your secure folder? And then down here, this will be your data to display. So do you want to show the caller IDs? You can also allow clipboard. And then this is where you show your contacts and calendar. So as of right now, when you initially turn on your secure folder, everything is completely 100% separate. There is not one contact nor a calendar event that is showing on the secure folder. But if you would like to import it, you are able to import some of your contacts or the calendar, but because mine is set up between my work and personal life, um, I do not wanna have anything for my personal. And then you can also, if you wanted to, export some of these things from the secure folder. So if you add in a contact through your secure folder, maybe your business contact, then this can show on your personal side. Now the option right below there is gonna be this one for the show secure folder. So this is the one that I have turned on. So then this way I'd be able to see it on my home screen or the app tray. You can really have it at any location that you want. Right below that is gonna be apps. And what this is meaning is what applications do you want to show up on your secure folder side of things. And so you kind of see how they have a little notch. So all these different applications, you're able to have pretty much two versions. You can have a personal side of Facebook and then a work side of Facebook. So a lot of my colleagues actually have their personal side of Facebook and then because of their work, they have one set up for that. So then all their contacts through their work Facebook page is everybody that they work with or they would like to speak to through Facebook, but not keep it on their personal side. And then below that is gonna be accounts. And so this is where you can add in accounts if you wanted to, you know, to kind of show all the different uh, calendars and contacts and everything else. So I kind of have mine set up as scratch. So then anytime I do wanna add somebody in there, I just do it manually. But if you do go through accounts, you are able to do it that way. So now let's head over into the application and exactly what it looks like. So once you click on the secure folder, now this is where you put in your credentials. Once you're inside the secure folder, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. So on the very top, if I wanted to and just basically lock it, I'd be able to get out of the application instead of me just closing it out. Next one on the top is gonna to be add applications. So if you wanted to, you can go through some of the uh, Play Store as well as the Galaxy apps if you don't have that application already pre-downloaded on your phone. Now, if you go through all these different applications, you're able to add it in. So for example, let's say that I add in Facebook. Now I'm just adding it in right now. 
And on my normal personal side of everything, I'm already logged into Facebook. Now, anytime that you add an application to this, you're basically starting from scratch because now you have to log in with your new or different credentials of the other account. So if I had a work side of Facebook, I'd be able to log in right here and then everything is gonna be with inside of my secure folder. Now let's say that you don't wanna have one of these applications there, so I just added Facebook. Um, what you'd be able to do is hit on edit applications. And then this is where I'd be able to touch on Facebook and then I can uninstall it from the secure folder side of things. Now I do want to show you something right over here. I have Binance right over here, which is the secure folder version of it. Um, but also if I was to go inside of my tools, you can see I have Binance sitting right here with no icon. Now this one is already logged in. It's got everything going on. It's going to show you some of the favorites of what's going on. Um, now if I was to go over back into my secure folder and if I was to click on Binance, you can see that here coming up shortly, you're not going to see three favorited um, cryptocurrencies. You're just going to see the one. So this just kind of proves that it's a completely new setup. And so also I would have to re-log back in if I wanted to use it. The other thing you'd be able to do with that edit icon is let's say that I wanted to keep this secure folder version of the application. I go to edit apps, but I can add it to my home screen. And so now on the home screen of my phone, um, there will actually be two Binance applications. One that is the original, and then the other one is going to be probably right over here, which is the secure folder version, which even even if I had to turn it on, I would still have to put in my credentials to even use it. And then the other option on the very top is going to be adding files. So this is just an easy, fast way of adding and moving some of the images from your personal side. Um, also videos, audio, documents, and my files. So let's say for example, let's say that I go right over here and I go into my files. Um, I've already moved over a couple different um, uh, images or audio. So for images, you can see I have uh, four different pictures and these, uh, this one was actually from last year at CES. Um, and then this one, actually, no, this was Mobile World Congress America, I believe. Um, and then this one is going to be uh, just a cicada that's on the tire. And I took a random picture of my foot. And so I wanted to take that picture because it was one I just took about a minute ago. Um, but if I was to go over into my main personal side of the things and I go to gallery, none of those images are gonna show up here because it's completely underneath the secure folder. So anytime you take a image, or you transfer an image to your secure folder, it will not show up on your personal side. So when you think about that with images and everything else, um, this will definitely come in handy when you're doing any type of Christmas shopping, maybe birthday shopping, Valentine's Day shopping, uh, whatever the case may be, you don't wanna have your significant other or kids be looking at something that you might purchase. So you're able to take a picture with this secure folder camera, and then once it's done taking a picture with inside of secure folder, it will go inside of your secure folder gallery right over here so that nobody's able to see what you're getting them as gifts. And then if we go inside of calendar, if I looked at my personal side, almost all of these days have something on them. Um, and then this one right here is just the one that I created earlier that you saw on my notifications panel, which is secure folder video, but this one is not showing up on my personal side. So it's a amazing way that you'd be able to kind of differentiate your work from your personal life in terms of the calendar. And so pretty much everything goes the exact same said for Samsung Notes. It's all going to be saved in here. Same thing with the files, same thing with the internet, same thing with the email. So really everything that you have set up with inside of Secure Folder, just let you guys know that this is completely separate of the normal personal side of things of the cell phone. Now on the very top right hand side, I did not show any of these just yet, but we already covered everything that is dealing with the settings. Now the other option you have on the very top is customizing of the icon and also the name of the folder. So I just put Put Jimmy promo folder and then you'll be able to change the logo so for quite a while for the application it was actually just shown a little J um, but I switched it over to this original icon just because this is I believe is what it's set to by default and so now once you change it now you would actually be able to apply it and then that is what it's gonna look like now if you don't want this one to be on your home page you can just simply remove the shortcut if you wanted to but because I have mine to show up on the app tray it's gonna be just right here now you can keep it in the app tray um, or you can bring it out you can really do whatever you want to no matter what it's going to be secured by whatever credentials you put in there now one of the really nice things about the peace of mind with the secure folder is that let's say that you went into an application that's on your personal side so YouTube this is something that's on my personal side right over here so it completely opens up and it's free for me to use but if I got out of any of my other applications as you can see these are all the different applications underneath secure folder um, that I've opened up let's say that maybe somebody wanted to check out your calendar 
now they're not able to because it is a secure folder so you still have to put in credentials even after the fact even if it's underneath your recent apps and that is because of the setting we turned on earlier which is locking the the folder immediately. So I hope you guys can see a whole bunch of different scenarios with the secure folder and how this would be able to impact you on your day to day life. Even if you don't need to separate your work and personal life, it's still a great way that if you have any type of something with your calendar, maybe you have something coming up that is something for a spouse or a friend you'd be able to hide it within your calendar. Or maybe you're taking images of maybe the little hints that they're giving you of what they want to have as a gift. Now you're able to take a picture through the secure folder and it shows up inside of the gallery. Um, but there's so many different things that you'd be able to use this for, even if you do something as simple as maybe a banking application. So if you have Bank of America or anything else, maybe if you're doing any type of trading, such as you know Binance or the real stock market, um, pretty much anything would be able to put into here. So then nobody is able to get into your phone, even when it's unlocked, to get into any of these little confidential applications or confidential practices using the camera and gallery. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on that subscribe button if you have not already. You'd also be able to hit this little red button right over here to hit subscribe if you would like to. And make sure you share this video with your friends and family, your social media sites, so then this way anybody who has a Samsung device, they'd be able to know more in depth of exactly what you're able to do with the secure folder or even that the secure folder is on their device. Outside of that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Oh, 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 oh,